Hey guys, so today we're going to be going through my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I'm going to be showing you what I have in my collection and if there's anything that I want to declutter. These first two items are from the Body Shop. They're these stamp blushes. This is what this color looks like. It's like this hot pink. It's the first one that I have. The second one is this kind of corally gold color. I really enjoy this. This is one of my favorite blushes. I'm currently panning this one. I will be keeping both of them. Then I have this blush I found at Ulta for $1 in the color... Honey Bunny. It's very nice, kind of shimmery. I don't. I know some people don't like shimmery blushes, but personally, I don't mind them. This is from Elf. I got this one. Oh man, I chipped my nail. I got this one at the dollar store. I think I've only used it like once or twice, <laughs> but whatever. It's in the color blushing. Actually, you know what? These two are gonna go in my baby pile because I'm not sure. These are kind of almost too pink for me, but I'm gonna see if I can make them work. I feel like I got this in the boxy charm. It's by the brand Note. This one is kind of too dark for me. It's in the color Desert Rose. I'm gonna go and give it to my friend. I have this baked blush from Laura Geller. I don't remember what this looks like on my skin. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. I gotta try this again. Then I have these three blushes from Urban Decay and I got them because they were on sale for like $13 and I don't think I've used them once. It's purple, bright red, and then a hot pink. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and I gotta try them out again see if I can create a look with them. This baked blush by Wet n Wild in the color or don't flutter yourself. This was from the Flights of Fancy collection. I really like this. It's this nice shimmery peachy color. It's showing up a little bit of a different color on camera so I apologize. I have to be careful with this because if I use too much shimmers on my face I look like kind of greasy almost so I have to use this when I'm using like a more mattified foundation and definitely cannot use a highlighter with this. I mean I can. I prefer not to. Yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. I really like it. This is from Lorac. It's from their Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I love these two shades right here. Oh my gosh, these are the perfect blushes for making yourself look nice and tanned. I have not used this color yet, so I don't really know how this works on my skin. And then these three highlighters are really pretty, so definitely keeping this. Then I have my Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette. I wasn't really blown away, to be quite honest, but it is nice. I kind of wish I would have waited for it to go on sale. It comes with the highlighter Sin, which is a very nice, natural-looking highlighter. Um, the only two blushes I really use are these two. Really, I only use these three things in here. This one's a little bit too pink for me and then these bronzers they just don't really go well with my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this though because I paid like almost $50 for this. <laughs> so I have to keep it I feel like. So that's actually it for my blushes. That's the smallest part of my collection. Puppy what are you doing? Ruby. Ruby. You always want to be in my video. You always want to be- oh, sorry, I didn't mean to poke you in the eye. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. She's running away from me. I feel so mad. I'm sorry. Okay, back to business. Now, I have- oh, shit. So, as far as bronzers go, I don't have too many. I have this Pure Sculptor palette that I got in a BoxyCharm. This is currently my Project Pan, so I will not be getting rid of this. The only color I can use is this. This one is definitely way too dark for me. And the other two highlighters I'm not too crazy about. They're very subtle on the skin. Then I have these two Becca Shimmering Bronzers. I got this on sale at Ulta in the shade Sunrise Waves and Sunset Waves. This one here is a little bit more darker, so I'll have to be more tan when I use it, but I do love this. This one a lot. I really like these. It gives this nice glowy effect on your skin. It's just really natural looking. I really, really like it. So I'm going to keep these. Then I have this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep Matte. This is a little bit too cool toned for my skin, so if I use it too heavy, it kind of makes me look dead. But I do enjoy it. I just definitely have to go in with a light hand. So I'm going to be keeping it for now just because I don't really have many bronzers in my collection. And this is my Ulta Beauty Face Sculpting Contour Stick. This is currently in my project pan. This is the Cover FX Glitter Enhancer Drops. I just got this in my BoxyCharm. I have yet to use it. This Trust Fund Beauty Liquid Highlighter. This is my Project Pan and the one from Tarte. Don't really use liquid highlighters all that much, so I have to try to incorporate them more, and if I end up liking these products, I will go ahead and keep them. This one I'm keeping, actually, because I'm currently panning, but the next two I'm going to keep in my maybe pile because, well, I'm not sure. When Wet n Wild came out with the Mega Glow Highlighter, everybody went crazy. These these highlighters are so beautiful. I went into CVS one day and I found three of them. So guess what I did? I bought all three. 
and I do not need three of these. I really don't. I do love this highlighter. It is very, very pretty. I am going to get rid of the two that I have not used yet, but I'm definitely going to keep the one that I have open and used because, my God, this highlighter is so beautiful. Then um, I also have from Wet n Wild their Zodiac Collection highlighter. That's one I don't even think I've used yet. Yeah, I definitely have not even used this. So I have to try this out, but I already am pretty sure I'm going to love it. I found this also. This is an Ulta Beauty Liquid Illuminator. I haven't tried this yet. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. This Makeup Revolution Soap X collab. I like this. I have to play with this a little more. If I remember correctly, it's not as blinding as I recall. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my maybe pile. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I got this, I think, at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I don't remember how I feel about this one, so I'm going to play with it a little bit more. So I am going to put this in my maybe pile. I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I got this on sale at Macy's. It has all these nice gold highlighters in it, and if I remember correctly, I do like it. I do have to play with it a little bit more, but I'm definitely going to be keeping this one because if I remember correctly, I really, really like this palette. Gotta hurry up because my battery's running low. From Cover FX, I have this highlighter trio. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is really nice. I have this Essence Pure Nude Space Lighter. It's this white with kind of like a pinky shift to it. I really like this one, so I'm going to keep it. Be my space light. From Ofra, I have Pillow Talk. It's this nice pink shifting highlighter. I love this one. I got this while it was on sale at Ulta. From Fenty Beauty, I bought the mini Hustla Baby highlighter. I like this one. It's very, very nice. Kind of like a dupe to it. This is the NYX Born to Glow and Chosen one. I'm going to keep both of them for right now because this one is a little bit less pigmented than the other ones. And then from Wet n Wild, I have this uh, Mega Glow. It's kind of got this blue shift to it. It is in the shade White Raven. I'm going to be keeping this. Purple Ashes. <sighs> I don't really remember how this looked on me. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. I have to play with it some more because I don't remember how this looks. I got this from their Fire and Ice collection. I have to play with these some more. So these are also going to be going in my maybe um, section. All right, so that is it for this video. This is everything in my maybe pile. I'm definitely decluttering three things and this is everything that I will be keeping. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied. I do have to definitely play with some things some more because I, I kind of forget. That's something that stinks about having kind of a larger collection. You don't really remember how things perform. So I got to go back and see if I like them or not. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.